Tom. I'm the co-founder of the, of the studio. I'm mainly the programmer. At the moment there are five of us and three of us are working on site um, in the studio. We started uh, developing it in October, I think 2012, but started doing the concepts and thinking about how the game should look like probably a month or two earlier, so it's nearly two, two years. And we were doing two games simultaneously, so, uh, so the, the development time uh, was longer. There are eight key levels. Our graphic, when he was playing the game first time, our graphic, who, who like saw the game and knew what are the rules, knew what are the features, he played about eight or nine hours to complete it in 100%. What's the story of Schrodinger? Okay, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit complicated. He's, he's the, uh, like a cat scientist and he experiments on mice. That's like the story for Mousecraft, the, the first uh, idea for the setting. But during the development, it, it kind of evolved and we're actually helping Schrodinger in his experiment. He's, he tries to uh, like invent a mice-powered machine. So the mice are used by the cat to, to power his machine. And we are helping him by guiding the mice from the wheel to the cheese. Uh, I don't have any, any pet. Lucas has a dog, uh, which will be probably visible in this uh, interview. Uh, my girlfriend actually has a cat, but it wasn't the, the, the inspiration for, for the game. Definitely not. And my favorite cat scientist is actually uh, Emmett Brown from uh, Back to the Future. Great, go on. Yeah. <laughs> the basic idea was to not try to uh, open the doors that are already open. We want to make something which will be recognizable by uh, like um, casual players and will be played by casual players but also will be uh, recognized and will appeal to, to the core gamers, to, to the guys who played the games in the 90s, 80s. And we thought about uh, Lemmings and Tetris because these are like one of the best games uh, back in the 90s, in the 80s, uh, and yeah, we thought that we'll just mi mix these, these two games and a mix of Lemmings and Tetris couldn't be anything different than a puzzle game. So no, I, I think that puzzle games are not a very popular genre, but I think it's because, uh, because of all these mobile games that don't have uh, like the quality. Uh, and people, um, when thinking about, about puzzle games, they think about all these crappy games on app stores. I think that a, a good puzzle game, which Mousecraft is, uh, can be pretty successful. Uh, we made the game so, so it can be uh, playable on the PC, the, the consoles, and maybe later on the mobiles, so it could be released everywhere. Uh, the controller doesn't matter. Yeah, I think it's, it could be pretty popular. We have a level editor. Uh, we want to uh, give the players a chance to uh, share the levels, but it's not uh, yet in the in the game. We plan to, to do it after, just to see uh, what's what's the feedback from the players. What what do they want from uh, <laughs> from the game in terms of sharing the levels? What's next for Country Club? Uh, probably a short break. Then we will get back to Warcraft Dungeon, the game we were developing simultaneously uh, with Mousecraft for, for some time. And maybe bringing Mousecraft to other platforms. Yeah, I think that uh, without, without the graphics and without all the production values, we, uh, we couldn't make it to, to Steam or GOG or consoles. And we probably would have released it I don't know, a year ago. I, I don't know if we will succeed right now, but if, if we release it a year ago, uh, it wouldn't be like successful. Yeah. If someone wants to pirate it, then no one can stop him. W with DRMs, without DRMs, it doesn't matter. We also was, were selling our, our game uh, before it was made on our website, and it was also DRM free. So all, all these DRM. Uh, like solutions are, are not working, you can download every game. What was your experience releasing your 
game on GOG compared to other platforms? Compared to other platforms? It was easy, it was hard to get there, but when you get there, you get the full package. Uh, you get like amazing uh, people who want uh, your game to get out and to get uh, to like a wide audience. You get uh, like marketing uh, and visibility. Uh, you get uh, and you get an audience that <laughs> that that loves games, and hopefully they love Mousecraft. Yeah.